And we are getting a reaction to his speech this morning from Washington lawmakers. Democratic Representative Jim McDermott joins us live this morning from Washington, D.C. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning, Joyce. It's great to have you with us this morning. The president talked a lot about improving America from infrastructure to innovation to education. He wants to do all of this without creating more debt. How is that going to be possible? Well, I think that the president had one big job left yesterday, which was to convince the American people that we should continue to invest. Now, you can invest in the short term and pay it off in the long term. And I think he's given a plan for people to begin to see how that's going to work. I thought he did an extremely good job in making it clear that if we don't invest in education and infrastructure and innovation, we're never going to get out of the economic problems we're in. If we start cutting everything right now, and that's all we do, we simply won't deal with the problems of the country. But, well, Republicans do argue that the president's plans to cut spending days simply are not enough. They're not enough. We have a massive debt. So how do you reach common ground? Well, it took eight years of the Bush administration to dig the hole that we're in, and the president has been president for two years. And for them to say it's not enough, quick enough, give him eight years and we'll see where we are. I think he put out a good plan, and I think if we follow it, we will make the kind of progress that the American people expect and bring back their belief in the American dream. People are worried about whether they're going to have a future. We heard a lot about civility last night. Leading into the speech, uh, Democrats and Republicans were sitting together for the first time. The atmosphere looked more civil. How long do you think that is going to last, and how are both parties going to work together to move the country forward, which is what Americans really do want? Well, I said before the speech, and I'll say now, didn't make any difference who you sat next to last night. What makes a difference is how you believe and how you work today and from this point forward. I'm leaving this set to go to a hearing on national health insurance and what we're going to do about that. And I think that's where you're going to find out whether people are really going to work together. Are they going to tear it apart or are they going to try and fix the parts they don't like? And I think you'll see by our deeds what really last night meant. Representative McDermott, we appreciate you taking a few minutes out to talk with us this morning. Thank you.